Hello and welcome to the Math Writing with Race Workshop. What you'll need for this session, notebook paper or the Race Workshop worksheet, pencil and your thinking caps on. Our learning targets. I can use the race rubric to help me to write to explain and justify my math reasoning. I can use accurate spelling, correct capitalization, and proper punctuation in my writing. And I can write in clear, complete sentences. Here's our race rubric. As you know, for math, we are always trying to get a distinguished four-point answer. Here's our word problem for today. Think about how would you solve this? DJ Tay, woot woot, threw a party on Saturday. To pick up her party guest, she rented five Hummer limousines and 20 Bentleys. If there were 15 guests in each Hummer and three guests in each Bentley, how many people were picked up for the party? So for note taking and writing prep, if you do not have a race workshop worksheet, which is seen here, all right, then you can take a piece of notebook paper, fold it in half like a hot dog so that you have two columns. On the right side, label your race, giving space to complete each one. And remember, always calculate and compute first, showing your work. So let's dive in. Let's compute and calculate. She rented five Hummer limousines and 20 Bentleys. If there were 15 guests in each Hummer and three guests in each Bentley. So we are gonna compute and calculate first, always showing our work because guess what? I can't restate an answer or explain something I have not done yet. So in order to solve this, here's what I have done for my work. Now it's time to restate an answer. What is the question that you are answering? The original question was, how many people were picked up for the party? So you would state your answer in a complete sentence where the question is being restated. So let's take a look. Here's the work that was done, right? Here's the restating and answering in a complete sentence. There were 135 people picked up for DJ Tay's party. Now, it is time for us to explain. We showed our work. We wrote our restatement and answering in a complete sentence. And now it's time for us to actually explain how the answer was solved, how the answer was gotten, right? So the original word problem was, DJ Tay threw a party on Saturday. To pick up her party guest, she rented five Hummer limousines and 20 Bentleys. If there were 15 guests in each Hummer and three guests in each Bentley, how many people were picked up for the party? So now I have restated that there were 135 people picked up for DJ Tay's party, and I have shown my work. Let me explain my work, because guys, let me tell you, sometimes you may be having to type in your explanation or your final answer, but they can't see the math that you did on your page. So this is where you can explain that math to them. And you don't want to get into, you know, then I carried the one and I can't, you don't have to get into those type of things, but you definitely want to let them know how your answer was gotten. So here is my explanation here. I multiply five times 15 to get a product of 75. That was for the Hummers. Then I multiply three times 20 to get a product of 60 for the Bentleys. For the total number of guests, I added the 75 plus 60 to get a total or sum, right, of 135 people. All right, so that was my explanation. Notice that it says rough draft here. This is how we set up our rough draft, guys. 
This is not our final answer. This is us organizing our writing. This is us making sure that we are using the race strategy to answer each part correctly and clearly. So now let's look at what a final answer where we put these things together, all right, for our final paragraph. All right, so again, the question was DJ Tay threw a party on Saturday to pick up her party guests. She rented five Hummer limousines and 20 Bentleys. If there were 15 guests in each Hummer and three guests in each Bentley, how many people were picked up for the party? And I must say that DJ Tay is quite the baller for this party, right? All right, so let's talk about our final answer. There were 135 people picked up for DJ Tay's party. To solve this, I multiplied the five Hummers times the 15 guests each to get a product of 75. Then I multiplied the 20 Bentleys times the three guests each to get a product of 60. For the total amount of guests, I added the 75 from the Hummers, Hummers and the 60 from the Bentleys. This gave me a total of 135 guests. All right, so your final answer should be that, guys, a well-written paragraph. And you may notice that there are some differences between my explanation here and my rough draft. I didn't get as nicely worded or detailed. I put down my general explanation here, all right? And then when it came time for my final writing, I jazzed it up. I made sure that it sounded nice. I made sure that it was clear and concise and I labeled, you know, I talked about what was Bentley's, what was Hummer's, et cetera. And I wanna go ahead and highlight some things for you. So remember our restating, our restating, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight our restating guys here. And let me see if I can highlight in a color. Was here, 135 people were picked up for DJ Tay's party. All right, and then our explanation, our explanation was all of the rest of this, right? All of the rest of this was our explanation. But here's what's cool is that in our explanation, and this is actually truly, truly key, in our explanation contained what our calculations were how we got those calculations. So notice that if you were turning in a final paragraph, I may not see your math work necessarily. Now, if you are turning in a worksheet, I will see what you wrote and what you wrote, how you showed your math there. But what if you're just turning in something online? Then I'm seeing a paragraph where you may not have been able to write down exactly the math you did. You may have done it on scrap paper or on a worksheet like this and then submitted your paragraph. So notice I have exactly how I got the problem, how I solved it inside of my explanation and therefore my final answer, okay? All right, guys. So now it is your turn. I know that you can make me proud. You too can write using the race rubric and the race strategy.